Hey French friends. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a French braid. Um, so we're just going to get started right away. Um, as always, I'm going to start by combing the hair in the direction that I want the braid to go. In this case, I'm going to be doing just a French braid on one side of the head. So I want it to go back along with the curve of the head. So I'm just going to comb the hair back like this. Now that I've got the hair going the direction I want it to go, um, we are going to start by grabbing a small section right at the top of the head. And I'm gonna divide it into three equal sections, just like we would doing a regular braid. And really the only difference between a French braid and doing a regular braid is that we're going to be adding in hair to each of these sections as we braid it down the head. So I've got my three sections here. And just one important thing that I want to note is when I'm doing my French braids on the scalp, I want to um, always make sure that my palms are facing down. I find that this is easiest to get the most tension for your braids so that they don't get too loose. Um, so um, usually the rule of thumb for me is hands or palms facing down when I'm braiding on the scalp and then I'll usually like to reverse it and have my palms facing up when I'm braiding off the scalp. So I'll show you that as the braid continues down um, to the nape of the neck. Um, but anyways, we will get started. So we're gonna be starting um, just a regular braid. So we're gonna take the outer strand on the left and cross it over the center, creating a new center strand. Then we're going to do the same thing on the right side. So we're going to take the right strand here, cross it over our center strand, and that's going to be our new center strand now. So now we're back on the left side here. And what we want to do is before we go ahead and cross it over is we want to pick up a small piece of hair to the left of it. And we're just going to add that in. And then we're going to add this new thicker strand and cross it over the center, creating a new center strand. So the exact same technique, still crossing the outer strands over to the center, but just adding some hair before we cross them. So now we're going to do that same thing on the right side. We have our right strand. We're going to pinch that strand and then we're going to pick up some new hair, add it into that right strand and then cross it over the center, just like that. And now we're back on the left. We're gonna do the exact same thing. We've got our left strand here. I like to pinch it kind of in between my um, pointer finger and my thumb here while I pick up some new hair to add in. And I'll kind of pinch those together, smooth it out. And then I'll take it back with my left hand again and cross it over the center. And we're just doing the same thing on the other side. Adding some hair into the right strand and crossing that thicker strand over the center. And all you're going to do is continue that all the way down the head. And then um, I'll check back in when we get to the nape of the neck. Okay, so now we're right at the nape of the neck here. And as you can see, I've already added in all of the hair that I can add in on this side. So I just finished crossing over the um, my right strand over to the center, adding in that last bit of hair. And as you can see, my palms are facing down because we just finished braiding on the scalp. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip my hands around, still using my fingers to keep the three strands separate and I'm gonna have my palms facing up now, securing um, the center strand with my thumb, just like um, I did in 
um, our video explaining how to do just a regular braid. So from here on out, it's easy sailing. We're just gonna do a regular braid all the way down to the bottom. So we're just gonna continue crossing the outer strands over the center until we reach the end. And that's how you do just a classic French braid. Like I mentioned, it's really just continuing that technique we learned from just doing a regular braid and adding in new hair strands, crossing them over with the original strands. Uh, thank you for watching and I hope this was helpful.